Okay, so uh, it's my understanding you want something to free your thumb or thumbs? Yeah, they're, um, they're in, uh, both of them, but mostly the left are in pain a lot. And when I try to do the hand on the ear thing, mm -hmm. I can't get back there with the thumb. It's restricted. You can't get back there with the thumb. The, the rotation occurs at the forearm for that. Well, I guess somehow the thumb's in a position where I'm pressing on here and it's hurting. Oh, okay. So you're having muscle pain at the yeah. ball of your thumb. Okay. Right. All right. Do you have an idea of what caused that? I do. It was a fall. Um, I had just had a car accident. I was kinesthetically just awry mm -hmm. and I tripped over my dog bowl over here and I ended up falling into the sink and my this hand went right on the faucet and just got obliterated by the faucet. I see. Okay. Well, the action pattern I have in mind should work for this. Great. Okay. So what I'll do first is talk a bit, then demonstrate, then have you do it. Okay. okay. What we're working with is an involuntary contraction pattern. So we're going to use a pandicular maneuver. Pandicular maneuvers are like yawning. They involve a deliberate strong tightening of the place that's already too tight, followed by a slow controlled relaxation. To do a pandiculation, you need to have some sort of, or this type of pandiculation, some sort of resistance to the action that tightens that place. And for that, we use the other hand. I'm going to demonstrate that momentarily. Uh, the key to this, though, is to hold the contraction long enough to feel it and then follow the release with the other hand. It's like the other pandiculations you've been doing. So we take the hand. I'm going to have to let me see if I can get my camera to aim lower here. Yeah, that's what I had to do. Pretty crazy. Let's try that again. There we go. Just one more try on this. Okay. Wrong direction. There we go. Now we got something better to work with. There. Now I can get my hands on camera for you. So what we're doing, the hand is flat and the palm faces you okay. so that you can put your other hand into the space okay. between thumb and index finger. So you have two hands that are flat against each other. With the thumb that's trouble, you bite down with the thumb tip into the web of the other hand. This is the web right here. So you right. bite down on top of that and you match the down push of the thumb with the uplift of the other hand. Oh. So they're matched. I got it. Then as you ease off the thumb biting down, you do not ease off on the other side. The result is a carrying of the thumb back. So the thumb went into this position from this position. It's not so easy to see, so I'll do it from this angle, biting down, and then you carry the thumb back. This is the thumb we're working with. Right. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that's just for you to see it, not for you to do it. I just gave you a different viewpoint so you could see it. Okay. The palm faces you. Mm -hmm. You slide the other hand in so the webs match. And then you bite down with the working thumb. And it's and you bend it when you bite down. Yeah. Okay. Whatever it takes to bite it down, you do that. So the thumb tip is biting into the web of the other hand. Oh, into the web. Well, mine's going on the joint of the other hand. <laughs> well, then change your angle. You want to have the thumb biting into the middle of that web between thumb and index finger. It's it it so if I go straight in like that all the way in 
I'm my thumbs over here almost to my wrist. Yeah, that's right. That's whatever it takes. You just get okay. it. The idea though is that you have an action of that thumb. Okay. And then you match that down action with the uplift of the other hand, so the web is pushing at the thumb. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> and you regulate it within your comfort zone. Okay. And the palms are flat together. There's nothing lifted off. It's a flat contact. So that when you do the carry, the carry is straight along the line of the thumb. It's straight along this line. It's not off somewhere out west. It's <laughs> okay. So the palm faces you. Yes. No. You're not facing with your palm. There you go. That's it. And then you have a, a position where you can actually lift and you carry yeah. that thumb back. Your thumb isn't biting down, so let's start again there. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. So you've got to be carrying it back. This is not a stretch. This is a controlled movement. Got it. So you bite down with the thumb tip and then as you ease off, follow with the other hand to carry that thumb back. Keep touching with the thumb. Keep biting down. Wow. I can only go so far up right now. Okay. That's right. That shows how contracted you are. So you start with what you can do okay. and with a few practices that will expand out, that will open up. So you do a series of bite and release with the thumb okay. while providing relentless resistance with the other hand. Okay. Slowly. And lift yes. that right elbow a good deal more. That will give you a little more. I see. Thing. And you can even bring the left arm down further. It makes it easier to carry the thumb. Well, you brought your elbow down, but you didn't bring your hand down. Bring the whole forearm down. And now you can carry the thumb back more easily. I see. But this stays in a straight line here? Yeah. Okay. So you're doing a series of contraction release further and further back. It's important that the other hand stay in constant contact with that thumb that you're working. So that means you're going to have to lift your elbow fast enough to keep right up against the thumb you're releasing. I see. Okay. Yeah. Now move that thumb. That's enough to have created some change. Compare that to the other side. Well, this one was much worse than this side. Yeah, but, but do it now. Compare anyway. Do the movement, not by visual looking of a static position, but move. So you can I'm not feel. Move, move it how? Like this? In a way that you can tell whether your thumbs are comfortable or not. It's much better, actually, already. Yeah, yeah. see? Already. I mean, this, I couldn't, even, I couldn't do that before. So. That might have put a real crimp in your hitchhiking style. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it was all around here and it's I can I didn't think that was gonna be releasable. So yeah, that's great. Okay. What cool. they say it's easy when you know how. Yeah. Amazing. So I have to keep that thumb bent as I go back. Mm, you have to keep the the thumb active as okay. you go back but still in contact with the other hand. So you're releasing that working thumb and carrying back a little further each time until you meet a mechanical resistance where you can tell that it isn't the muscle that's interfering anymore, it's actually the shape of the joint. Okay. And it'll be good to do both hands so that you have a matched pair. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's hard to use the other hand. The web is sensitive. Yeah, also your position is not flat, so that's a, okay. And so remember that you'll be lifting now your left elbow as you ease the right thumb. And just keep carrying it back in constant contact and that will free that grip on both sides. It's still very sensitive in here. Yeah, you have more to do on the left. You just do yeah. that until it's all comfortable again. You got that. <laughs> okay. Great. Fantastic. Okay. I'll work on it. And by the way, I'm so glad we had the free consultation because I'm doing so much better. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, 
I read, I went back and I redid the uh, sideline sacral decompression correctly. Mm -hmm. I realized my shoulder was not involved previously, and now it is. Mm -hmm. What a difference now. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. You feel complete on this unit of instruction? I do. Thank you. Okay. And I, I noticed that you, you didn't choose a 10-minute mentoring option, so shall I send you an invoice for that? Yeah, go ahead and do that. I didn't know what I was doing, honestly. I just, how, did I, how do I do that? Oh, oh ordinarily, uh, you'll see in a message from me a link okay. underlying a section of text that is related to, in this case, it would have been purchasing a 10-minute session. And when you click it, it takes you to that page. Okay. And you scroll down until you see the section that's relevant to what we discussed, and that's it. Uh, in this case, I can send you a PayPal invoice. You bypass that, and that way we're all complete. All right. Great. All right, then. Well, don't hitchhike any place I wouldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Thank you so much. I can't see my computer. <laughs> Bye now. Bye-bye.